sometimes feel that your Botox just hasn't lasted this time, then here are a few things I'd like you to consider. Botox has a baseline of six months. That doesn't mean to say it's going to last six months. That's when it will be completely out of your system. Botox will last around three to four months and it starts to wear off at a percentage. You don't just wake up one day and your Botox is completely gone. So you will start to have some muscle activity return and then it will increase as that percentage as that time goes on. Botox duration depends on a couple of factors. The dilution of the Botox and also the dosage. What does that mean? There is a legal amount of toxin that we can actually administer into a muscle without overdosing. It is so important for you to return back for your two-week review. It allows your clinician to add additional toxin where needed if there's still some sort of muscular activity. Now here are the facts. In the upper face foundation level, which is the frown line, the forehead lines and the crow's feet, we can pretty much knock that muscle out. Some people don't like the frozen look, some people prefer the stiff look. In my opinion, I think movement with no lines is, my, is best. So in the upper face, we can pretty much wipe things out. In the lower face, advanced neurotoxin, we can only partially inhibit these muscles. We need them to eat and speak. You will find that your lower face toxin will actually wear off a lot quicker than your upper face toxin. Another thing to consider is your clinician and the reconstitution. What is the, the dilution? If it is a one-to-one -one ratio, then it's going to be more potent, which means that we actually have to group little injection sites together and you possibly need a touch up, but you will actually have that duration a little bit longer. If it's reconstituted with a 2.5, in some cases that's great for us because we'll get a bigger spread. If someone has a five head like me and not a normal forehead or a nice small forehead, we need a bigger spread. So reconstitution is something we need to consider as well. Dosage. Some people just want baby talks. Some people start off so early that they don't have a lot of lines. Remember, Botox doesn't remove lines. It inhibits the muscle from contracting. So if the muscle can't contract, the skin gets a much needed break. The earlier you start Botox, prevention rather than cure, the better it will be for you in the long run. If you start Botox when you have visible lines at rest, Botox will not remove them. They will only freeze the muscular activity in time, preventing that line from getting any worse. Okay, consistent Botox every three, four months, that line can't get any worse. It will have to smoothen out at some point. But remember the factors of Botox. We can use Botox to inhibit the muscle, which will prevent muscular activity, giving the skin a much needed break. So reconstitution, dosage, duration. The right clinician, the right pattern for your muscular activity and a two-week review. And here's another thing to consider. If you feel that you have really strong muscles, then there might be a certain brand or your clinician may actually switch brands for you. Shake up the muscles, shock them a little bit. Let's try a different brand. That can always work too.